Hello viewers, today's topic is that how you can uh, code a shooting method in the MATLAB. Uh, this is the lecture 7A uh, in, our, in my MATLAB lecture series. If you don't know anything about the shooting method, you can search on Wikipedia. You can see that uh, in the Wikipedia, uh, this is uh, clearly explicitly mentioned the different techniques of the shooting. Uh, the shooting method is actually a method of solving the boundary value problem by reducing to the initial value problem. So you can either use any RK family code or in the MATLAB there is ORI solver is already present. You can uh, smartly use the ORI solver to solve uh, this boundary value problem. So when you go through this all the, you can uh, come to understand that there is a function f is there and how you can reduce uh, this boundary value to this initial value so first the basic method is the linear shooting method so today i am focused on this linear shooting method in which uh, you can use uh, any method like bisection method neutral uh, neutral method neutral option method and second method whatever you wish to want but i am using the built-in functions in the matlab so what type of differential equation i am uh, taking today is is a simple because I am starting this uh, shooting method lecture series and in two or three lectures I will just explain you that how you can solve couple system higher order system and a different uh, different type of equation uh, differential equations with the shooting method in MATLAB so I am taking the nonlinear equation and this red color is shows the nonlinearity in the differential equation and this uh, domain is from 0 to 1 with the boundary conditions a is equal to 1 and e uh, so firstly what you have to do uh, to apply ori solver we know that to apply the ori solver you have to reduce this to the first order or the system of first order differential equation so i substitute dy d is equal to z and when you substitute this thing here then you can get this type of first order autonomous system uh, first order differential equation so in the MATLAB solver, uh, we are using the ordinary solver. So this type of syntax I have uh, uh, I have taken like for putting y z I have uh, choose it at, as a vector y. In which the first term I have chosen y is one and second term is y two. And the for the derivatives I have written dy one and dy two. Uh, now I go to uh, our editor window and quickly start with the uh, shooting method code. So I am making the function file because it's easy uh, to uh, call the function file because in the function file you can construct several functions and you can directly run it or you can call it from the command window. So I'll start with the function. Function you can either write shooting method or whatever you want you can write. You can end with this function. So I wish to construct three different functions so I'm constructing this th three different functions I'm starting with the equations first so my equations I have written as dy function the equations uh, file there is two variables t and y I have chosen you can see that in the equations there is two either t and y t is your independent variable y is your dependent variable and I wish going to write this system in terms of MATLAB language so what is how you can start you can start with the initialization you can use dy is equal to zeros uh, 2 comma 1 and you can write the first equation because you are using dy as a vector so you can the first term is derivative of this vector uh, is I will take with y2 so it's equal to uh, z I put on this and the derivative of z uh, I can say that uh, dy of 2 is equal to t star exp 2 into t uh, plus y1 minus t star y2 square is something like you can use the scale sign as this so this is the equation which which is written here this is the system which is written here I have uh, written in the MATLAB language now I am calling this equation in this ORI solver so I have put this function as a solver or you can write your name x is the second conditions because what you are doing 
you are going to construct IVP using BVP. So you have to uh, uh, write the variables here which you are going to update. So this is by the shooting method. So I can start with the options is equal to ODE set. So options is you can uh, write the relative tolerance. Uh, you can write any relative tolerance of like E minus 8, starter of minus 8 and absolute tolerance you can uh, write, okay you can use the same. So this is that how much accuracy you wish to get. So this is about the option, then you can uh, use the output, the T and either you can use a new variable or same Y. So I use the new variable U, U is my output, OD solver, OD45, OD15, S, whatever you wish to want, it's according to your model. If the model is stiff, you can use the stiff commands. Then I am calling this equation. So now I like to write the boundaries and next, this is the conditions. So since OD solver can solve only the uh, initial value problem, so 0, 1 is your the uh, maximum boundary. First value is already given, 1 is already given at 0, 1, but derivative condition is not given. So I have to make it as a variable. So this I wish to find. So this is options and I close this. So uh, if you wish to update this value of x you have to firstly find the length of x and uh, you can uh, use a new function variable f because I have already chosen f as a function I have to use this so this is your last entry of u minus so what is the boundary condition here given is 1 so I am using I am actually using this condition to find out the derivative value at 0 so this is this if you wish to plot the your output you can use any figure and you can plot t with your solution using your first column of u because you are writing the column vector so this is your now i'll start with the how this solvers work you have to you can write this the normal syntax in order to clear your screen or clear your workspace so you can put the initial guess whatever you wish I put this because only x is uh, only variable if start with x1 uh, you can uh, start with x1 you can start with x1 is equal to now here you can use the f0 command and you can call this solver the function which you have written for the x and if you don't want the output then is, you can put this here. So this is uh, all about our code. So if I run this, firstly I have to save by this name, I have to save the variable and you can see that this is your output. Since the differential equation uh, which I have chosen, you can see that if I put ex here at y, it will satisfy the solution et, e power t is. Uh, it satisfies the solution. So uh, y, y is equal to exponential of t is uh, the solution of this differential equation. If you wish to check whether your solution is correct or not, you can uh, include the another line t comma exponential of t. So this will give you the two lines and comparison between them. You can see that in the graph window there is two lines. Two lines and both are coinciding. So if you, you can differentiate with the bullets also, you can use uh, cross sign for this and you can use this sign for this. You can see that both are exactly coinciding. So uh, you can uh, solve this uh, boundary value problem using ODE solver. If you wish to change the solver like 15S, if your problem is stiff, you can use this. You can use 23S and whatever you wish to want this is going on updating the solution and this is your solution so this is the same output you are getting so this is all about of solving uh, second order differential equation so 
in my next video i am going to discuss that how you can go for the higher order non linear differential equation and even the coupled system either you can go for the boundary because is ori solver you can already uh, easily solve ibp the problem is only the bbp so bbp solver is there but you if you wish to use the shooting method you can use this ori solver so this is all about this uh, shooting method thanks for watching uh, please subscribe for my upcoming videos you can send me your queries suggestions and whatever you wish to discuss with me to my email id scientificrana@gmail.com so have a nice day thank you very much